Hello guys, Malcolm here and welcome to episode 4 of GFX Radio And here with me today I have only one guest The one and only Sherbert Mellon What's up guys? Everyone pretty much knows about you I guess and But still do you wanna introduce yourself? Um, yeah I might as well uh, So my name's Sherb, I've been doing graphics for the past 10-11 months uh, Started in around October time um, Probably most of you know me already, some of you might not who knows? <laughs> um, I think a lot of people are going to know me after that last edit that I just did. Yes. But yeah, so that is pretty much me. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, there's Sherbert Mellon. And regarding uh, your um, your last edit, Transformer, so do you want to talk about it, man? Um, yeah, so uh, some people may have not like uh, realized, because not a lot of people read video descriptions. Um, the video took... It's about 35 hours to fully complete. That's everything from the speed art to the border to the video editing. Um, but yeah, the speed art itself took about eight hours, uh, plus like an extra hour on top of that, uh, not recording. Uh, so uh, it took a very, very long time. Um, yeah, I didn't actually sleep either, which was a proper killer. I, I, I was thinking about it like about maybe 15 hours in. Should I go to sleep? Should I not? But uh, I turned around to myself and thought, fuck it. Um, dedication kicked in and just stayed awake and got that video out and yeah, just um, went for it really. Yeah, well, that's pretty much your work to Melon, I guess. I mean, you are pretty much one of the guys that, you know, dedicates, the, you know, so much time, you know, to their speed, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah the time is just... <laughs> yeah, the topic that we're going to talk about today is... Um, the speed art prizes. The oh yeah, speed and yeah, the, the, the speed art competition prizes. So, would you would you wanna start? Um, speed art prizes. Uh, so, on my last speed art, um, it wasn't a speed art actually. It was a background competition, yeah. but people had to obviously post a speed art or a progression video. Yes. Um, in terms of prizes, I think people that offer like uh, cash prizes kind of uh, like separates the real graphic designers from the people that just do it for the money Does that makes sense yes um, so like in my background competition for example I didn't offer um, like a valuable prize except for first place that would win a background or layout uh, I but was that you that won my competition actually yeah. Thinking about it. yeah I, oh wow <laughs> small world um, but yeah I pretty much just offer promotional prizes because I think offering a cash prize just shows that people only really want to do it for like the cash, if that makes sense. Um, so it really does it really does show that people want to do it, you know, to really get their name out there. They really want to do it because they enjoy doing it um, instead of just you know doing it for the prizes, really. I guess. Um, but yeah, what, what's your outtake on? Well, prizes. you know, money being involved in speed art competition prizes also shows that this community is actually growing pretty big and that it's also becoming more, you know, kind of serious. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's also, you know, it's becoming big and it, it's not only this, you know, this community, there's also the VFX community, there's also the Call of Duty community. We are seeing, you know, this YouTube thing pretty much, this whole YouTube thing we are seeing Money being involved in these competitions and and uh, and contests, yeah. and it's pretty much a confirmation that this um, that this community is growing pretty large. And I I do agree with you, you know, on the on the money um, aspect of yours. But yeah, you know. I mean, for I'll uh, take an example. Um, I think a few months ago, you know, the Battle Los Angeles speed art I did. Yeah. Um, Who doesn't? Now, <laughs> that is true. Um, you got a guy called I Basket Case. Some of you might know him. Yes. Well, he brought out a competition, um, and the top prize was forty pounds, which is probably about sixty dollars. I'd probably say. Yeah, that's math. Now I got a friend called uh, Mousy that showed me that competition, and um, I was like, "Oh, that's pretty cool." And some of the people that entered, you know, some of the entries were probably like half an hour speed art, and I just turned around to myself and thought, you know, have these people gone and done it for the money? Have they just gone and done a really quick edit and just tried to just throw it at him um, but that's when I thought to myself you know if if this is something you really want if you really enjoy doing graphics then put a lot of, spend a lot of time on it don't just spend like half an yes. hour to an hour 
That's why my battle Los Angeles speed art ended up being five hours, six hours long. And, you know, that's, I didn't really do it for the money, to be honest. I just wanted to, you know, create a piece that everyone would remember, something that would shock everybody, something like, just wow the graphics community, really. And I think that's the effect Battle Los Angeles had on people. Yes. Would you agree? Or Yes, I agree. Um, dedication and speed arts equals quality and just, you know, it was a massive speed. We also, you know, in uh, competition prizes, we also see um, background, you know what I mean, and avatars and stuff. But why would you include those, you know, when when the people that will participate are, you know, graphic designers themselves? You know what I mean? Um, what, me, myself? Um, well, basically, um, I like to offer some of my work to, like, like I did to you, for example. Yes. Don't know whether you wanted one or not. But, um, I don't know, I guess it's just a way of, you know, saying thank you for entering my, uh, entering my competition, congratulations, you won. Um, it's just a way of me giving something back to the winner for the hard work and effort that got put into the background you made for me. So, yeah. I guess it's just a kind of like... Kind of like trading, you know? I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly the word I was thinking of. <laughs> but um, we also see the aspect of, you know, we see these, you know, GFX designers, they, they, you know, just started up and pretty much speed art contests and competitions are the ones that you will, you know, get their work out there. And yeah, it is a great thing, you know, it, will, it helps this community to grow and to get the underrated people out there to, you know, get their work out there and just subscribers and... Yeah. Yeah. You know, car competitions, you know, they really do, you know, they do help people, you know, grow in the community. Yes. And obviously if you win or if you place top five or top three, you know, people will start recognizing your work and you'll slowly just build up over time. I mean, that's how I built up. And I think my biggest boost was through I just uh, yeah. I Digital Universe's um, Halloween competition way back in the day, mm -hmm. around October the 30th. I did a photo manipulation of wow. a tree, like a dark tree in the middle, and just he made it. He, he thought it was the best out of all of them, and that really gave me a bit more promotion. And then um, someone else, uh, an actual gamer called Trump, uh, he he came across me and. Um, yeah, he's got around 50,000 subscribers or whatnot. And uh, he came to me and said he really liked my work. He said he wanted a background, so I went and did him one. Um, in return, he'd upload one of my speed arts. And considering he's a gaming channel, I didn't expect him to turn around and say that to me, which was kind of a shock. But, um, yeah, ever since, he's been uploading some of my best speed arts, and that's really been giving me boosts. I get about four or 500 subs off each video on his channel, and I really do appreciate that. And if he's watching this video at all, I'll link him to it probably. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I can link. Thank you. But yeah, um, hmm. yeah, and also <laughs> yeah, a lot of guys you know get their boost out there you know through through you know speed art competitions and uh, if you know everyone remembers like from January to March of this year, we actually seen a guy called Peak Army who just won about five competitions I think. Yeah, he definitely won yeah. quite a few. He was definitely fucking yes. he was, taken out. Everyone. Yeah, he was pretty much one of the best designers out there at the time. But right now he's still, you know, big. He still is active. But there I are... haven't actually like heard of him. I haven't seen any. I mean, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. He, back in the he's day. Still active, you know? Yeah, January to March, it was all about. Yes. I just hear about Pukwame winning everything, and I was just yes. like, oh my god, he's taking over. And now today, it's like you, you just don't hear of him. I, I haven't heard of him for months. To be he, honest, he just, you know? he just. His speed arts have actually changed uh, quite a lot. I mean, his way of doing speed arts. I don't want to offend you, Big Army, but it is kind of weird. Um, the like, I don't know if you guys have watched them, but they're they're a little bit weird. Like, I don't know. It's it's just my opinion, but yeah, he's, yeah. yeah, he still is active, but he just doesn't participate in uh, speed art contests anymore. Hmm. Yeah, in fact, he was actually. Um, he was actually uh, disqualified from two competitions in April. Really? Yes. So that he doesn't oh. win, actually. Oh dear. Yes. <laughs> I, th I think that's kind of unfair to a point because it yeah. should competition should be allowed for anybody. No, it doesn't matter how many subs you got. If you want to enter at the end of the day, you want to enter. I mean, a couple of competitions, people told me not to enter just because they thought I'd win. Uh, a couple of them, you know, I didn't even win. I didn't even place top three, and it, it doesn't really bother me at all. I mean. But I think for someone to turn around and say, 
please don't enter, you're easily going to win. I think that kind of, you know, again, I can't think of a word. My English knowledge is not very good. <laughs> Either um, is mine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I think it's, yeah, but at that time there was a lot of hate towards Pikwami. I mean, nowadays yeah. nowadays I don't know, but I think that the guys I'm not gonna mention names because that might I don't know, but I'm not gonna mention names. But the guys who actually disqualified him from from the speed art from their own speed art contests, you know, were pretty much because their subscribers would maybe you know get mad if you know Pikwami would win again, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, for people, uh, coming back to the bit where people trying to get big in the community and stuff like that, um, I think if you manage to get all your subscribers by yourself, like if you get 10,000 subs all by yourself, uh, uh, getting no promotion through anybody, um, that, that's pro I don't think I know of anybody that's got over 10,000 subs yeah. that hasn't been helped by promotion, you know. Yeah, that's almost you know, impossible. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean everybody. Every, I mean, from Digital Universe to Robot to Matty De C Cesare, whatever you say his last name. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they've all gone through promotion, and um, you know, they've obviously done backgrounds for Call of Duty players. That you know, they've obviously gone and given them promotion. I mean, I myself have been given promotion from Optic Nation, Hex, Predator, Trump. Hazard, Zik, I could name so many, the list is just unreal. I mean, Team Noble even gave me a boost, and that got me to where I am now, and I appreciate every single one of them, and I appreciate every single one of my subscribers for just continuing to watch my videos and all of that, I mean, yes, yeah. Yes, I, <laughs> yes, you know, promotion and support from your subscribers is a really, you know, a really, I think the word is, you know, to describe it is a key thing, you know, for someone to start up their channel and to, you know, get known. I mean, there are a lot of underrated graphics designers out there, you know, they're, you know, really talented yeah. and stuff. But why, if you're talented, why don't you promote yourself? If people like your work, they will promote you, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's all about just talking to people and really yes. just spreading the word about... I mean, this Transformers speed art has topped 10,000 views in less than a day. Exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, you may look at all my other videos and not all of my videos have got that in a day, you know. That's because I really wanted to get it promoted. It's the biggest project I've done this year. Yes. Um, will probably will be the biggest I do this year. And uh, I just really wanted to get it promoted and, you know, that's what a lot of people help me out with. Um, but yeah, I exactly. guess. Alright, so guys, this was episode 4 of GFX Radio. I want to thank Sherbert Mellon from the bottom of my heart for being here this week. <laughs> oh, you do make me smile. No homo. <laughs> Lots of homo. Lots of homo. <laughs> Loving it. So, uh, guys, um, please give us your opinion in the comments below. And if you want to get your speeder featured in the next week's um, episode, make sure to send me a personal message with a link your speed art I will just uh, you know download it and give you a confirmation if it will be featured and you know we will see so again Sherbert Mellon thank you for being on this week's episode that's all right uh, I just want to say one quick thing yes uh, thank you to everybody out there for supporting me all the way to 10,000 subs um, and I couldn't thank I wish I could thank every single one of you including you Malcolm Oh yeah, thanks. I'll give you a nice kiss on the forehead when I see you. Aww. <laughs> and I'll sign your forehead as well, and your arse cheek if you want. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, guys, this is Sherbert Mellon and Malkov, and we are signing out. Thank you guys for watching, and see ya. See you later, guys. Peace. Peace. <laughs>